Hello and welcome again. I'm Steve Trithall with the Sessions Group here at World Headquarters. We're fortunate again to be with Cindy McCord, who although went to Texas A&M is a great owner of uh, Bloom Floralscapes, a full service landscape, construction, maintenance and snow removal company. Cindy, last time we talked about uh, an owner's evaluation of a snow removal company. Let's get into the specifics of a snow removal contract. Um, Steve, it's very important as we discussed in the first video. Um, when at once you've vetted your contractor and you've decided to proceed with the snow removal contract, um, again review and define and set the expectations of the tenant, the management company, and um, detail that in the contract. Uh, this might be the trigger point for when snow removal begins. Is it one inch, two inch, three inches? Uh, does it include sidewalks? Does it not include shoveling sidewalks? Does it include only driveways, uh, loading docks? Be very specific about what areas to include and uh, the means of clearing, whether it's hand removal, um, plowing, whatever it might be. It's very important to define this expectation with the snow removal company as well as the tenant. If the tenant is not well informed as to what the contract calls for, then it sets up um, a potential for miscommunication and frustration throughout the whole snow removal se season. Um, leading into this, it's important to do a pre-season site walk and to define areas either on a map or also listed within the contract, uh, areas to push snow, make sure to avoid you know, pushing snow into handicapped spaces, make sure that curbs are labeled and loading docks and certain shady spots that might have been uh, p potentially hazardous areas for slip and falls. In relation to that, you also want to do a post-storm review and feedback. Um, so after each storm, uh, each storm is different, so each storm you're going to have to be flexible as to certain expectations. However, it's always good for the snow removal company to understand how they've performed and what could be changed or tweaked a little bit differently. I think all, if you do all three of these, you really set up yourself for a relationship built on trust. Um, it leads to a cohesive team and management style on the project, which will help alleviate a lot of frustration. Uh, snow removal is difficult and challenging because of the timing aspect of it and also because all parties involved need to remain somewhat flexible again because each storm is different. So uh, while everything can be outlined in a contract you have, have to have that trust within the relationship so that you can have constant contact and whether through email or text or phone calls and know that the, the contractor is on site and performing according to what the specifications are. Um, what we do within our company is we make sure that we constantly have what we call constant contact. And we have, uh, personally, I'll be on the phone throughout the night, not only with my crews, but also with uh, customers to evaluate if they're on site. Some um, customers might choose to do their own sidewalk, so they're on site and they can allow us they can call us and let us know what the situation is on site, which can help us to route crews and identify where we need to be and, and, and time the storm a little better. Uh, another question you might consider is the job reports. This is part of the post-storm review. This helps with um, assessing and looking at, identifying maybe efficiencies on the job, how equipment's used, how people are used. Um, it also helps to relay it back to the bill and the invoicing so you can manage your costs and manage your contractor. Uh, many contractors now are, are employing GPS systems in their trucks, which you might ask them to provide those reports as well. But these are all issues that if you stay in communication and you're willing to put some time and effort into the relationship with your snow company, then it will really reduce the frustration on, and the liability on snow removal jobs. Cindy, this information is invaluable and, and uh, these contracts are very important to reduce the liability. As always, thank you. Um, and if you have any questions, please contact us. Uh, join us next time and as always, go Clemson.